fucking retards. Here is our next entertainer, as we like to call it, intermission. Welcome, Mimi, I'm first. Are you getting drinks, detox? Work on it, boo. Fuck you. Get over Bianca Del Rio. I've got a fucking one too. My biggest competition was a fucking retarded Chola baby and a bad Olivia Newton John impersonator. So, fucking old cunt. She's so fucking. used to be a stone tablet. She's so fucking old that the key on Benjamin Franklin's kite unlocked her apartment. She's so fucking old, the new Jurassic Park movie is called Bianca Del Rio. I want to thank Bianca Del Rio for making this cruise happen. Her entire family is cleaning your fucking cabins. Me neither. I love you, Jinx Monsoon, but your fucking wigs look like they've been combed by a blender. Tyra Sanchez wanted to be here tonight, but she was very busy with other appearances, mostly the magistrate's office, a court-appointed community service obligation, and a fraternity test of Maury Povich. Wait, wait, everybody, take this in. Mimi's funny for once. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Shangela is here. Yes, unfortunately. You know, Shangela is a lot like a Christmas fruitcake. Five pounds of dried up fruit soaked in liquor that arrives in a box every year and no one wants to eat it. If you get fired from your fucking job, you can show up the next fucking day in a box to terrorize everybody in the goddamn office. I don't think so. And then there's detox. Ladies and gentlemen, detox. What a fucking scary face. You don't understand, when she was born, her mother asked the doctor, is it a boy or a girl? And the doctor said, no. <laughs> Detox. Detox was such a fucking ugly kid. too much like fucking him. <laughs> Seriously, she was so ugly that her mother told her the only way she could ever get a man to fuck her would be to wear a plastic bag on her head. To which Detox said, Mom, don't you mean a paper bag? And her mom said, no. <laughs> Since then, Detox <laughs> has had more work done to her face than the hole at ground zero. Disasters, it's very nice to see you doing something other than singing backup for Willem. Now, Willem, what nice things can I say about Willem? Nothing. Willem, you know, a lot of people make fun of her, of her bearded fucking face, and Willem isn't a butterface as much as she is, I can't believe it's not a butterface. You know that Aerosmith song, Dude Looks Like a Lady? Not about Willem. <laughs> Willem is such a fucking whore. To be honest, she's fucked more people than the Alan Chuck Dot Travel Sales Department. <laughs> Time they stood up for 
for you to trust me. Okay, okay, they always stand up and they usually leave when you start doing the show. <laughs> now listen, I'm not saying that Willem's a slut, but she's been under more sheets than the KKK. And speaking of racist, Sharon Needles is here. Sharon Needles, it's so nice to see you dressed up as Joan Rivers, Robin Williams' new best friend. You know, Sharon, oddly enough, Joan and your career have both have a lot in common. They're dead. <laughs> Speaking of dead careers, Pandora Box is here. Give it up for Pandora Box. Give it up. She was my illustrious partner on that goddamn shit show that I like to call RuPaul's Concentration Camp for Wayward Homosexuals. <laughs> when we were in that hot pink sweatshop, she was my partner, and let's be honest, she was about as useful as Latrice Royale's corset. <laughs> Get over Latrice, Latrice, where are you? Latrice, isn't she precious? No, really. That basically means she's gone from, uh, from uh, careers that are destroyed by lip syncing to being the lapdog of a queen who demands it in exchange for your life. <laughs> Michelle Massage is such a fucking ass kiss in a RuPaul that her nose is browner than RuPaul's ass, and he's black. <laughs> she's such a fucking whore that she used to roofie Bill Cosby. <laughs> she doesn't know how to close them. <laughs> Everyone knows that Michelle Massage hates green, which is odd because she's had more hands up her than Kermit the Frog. <laughs> the only thing longer and saggier than Michelle Massage cleavage is her vagina. <laughs> and her dick. <laughs> I'd like to wrap up tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I've been dealing with bullshit from all these fucking queens all night and our roast is about reading. So I'd like to read for you now one page out of the four page notes from one queen's technical requests. <laughs> Can I get a drink, please? I will not mention this queen by name. 303, intense strobe lights with white flashing crawler lights on the stage around the performer. No colored lights at this time. Cue the wind machine. The wind... The wind is machine. Is this serious? Yes, this is, no, this is not a joke. This is what I really got on my fucking door. It's four fucking pages. Hand you know what? On a corner of a cruise ship, you get a spotlight, that's it? Yeah. Right. Cue wind machine. <laughs> 
When the machine will be on from 305 to 351. 312, stop the strobes. Flood the stage with intense all white light. White, circular, white lights still flashing quickly. <laughs> Verbatim. Wind machine still on. 327. Intense colored lights. All colors. Flash rapidly from the ceiling in time with the music. Just go nuts. <laughs> Visual climax of song, but make sure no lights on the audience at all times. They must be in the dark. needs to be turned off in order for you to fire, then please turn off the wind. <laughs> this is like some fucking bad, like, uh, Hocaponis Colors of the Fucking Wind in Auschwitz fucking number. I don't fucking know. 351. Wind and fire off. Lights slow down and don't flash. Gentle, soft light changes in sync with the slower speed and mood of this part of the song. The light tech can choose the specifics. And to this I say, no, Raja. 